Do you like bananas? Personally, I like everything that's banana flavored, but just like that, not so much. My favorite way, it's when it comes in alcoholic form. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, a banana cocktail. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. Do you wanna finish this, please? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this cocktail video. Today will be a first on the channel. We will be making one of Sephra's cocktail. I remember a few years ago, one night I didn't know what to drink and I asked her if she could create something for me, something that I've never had before. And back then I was giving her some workshops on classic cocktails, she wanted to learn them and the Toronto cocktail was the last one that I showed her. In case you don't know what that is, link up here. I've already made it on the channel, but basically it's a rye old fashioned with Fernet Branca. It's a delicious cocktail, I love it. She knew it, so that's the reason why she took this one and transformed it into something totally new. She decided to take bourbon instead of rye and banana liqueur instead of sugar, and it turned out amazing. Even though the banana liqueur that I had back then was pretty, crappy i loved it i've been drinking it since then and i even made it several times at the bar where i work and people love it and last week a friend of mine brought me back from ontario a bottle of delicious banana liqueur it tastes like ripped banana brown sugar and cognac it is mine blowing and as soon as i got it i thought of this cocktail i wanted to share it with you guys you will see it is very simple to make and worth it. So we're gonna start with two ounces of bourbon in a mixing glass. Then we're gonna add half an ounce of banana liqueur. As I said, the first time Sephora created that cocktail, she was using a cheap banana liqueur and it worked anyway. But if you can find this Giffords banana liqueur, this will enhance the cocktail like by a lot. So I highly recommend it. So we're gonna go with half an ounce of it. Then quarter of an ounce of Fernet Branca. And two dashes of Angostura bitters. And then we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. Usually a Toronto cocktail is served up in a coupe, but this one I love to serve it on the rocks. We're gonna pour it over the ice. And lastly, we're gonna express some lemon oil on top of the cocktail. And this is it, guys. This is how we make Sephra's Banana Toronto. Let's give it a try. Hmm. I love this cocktail. As I said, I'm already a huge fan of the Toronto, but this one for me is next level. The addition of the banana flavor is unusual, but it goes so well with the mint and the fernet. I love it. And also, I don't know for you, but I sometimes feel like in good aged spirit, like bourbon or rum, for example, we get that banana-like rip fruit flavors that is coming through the aging process. So I feel that these ingredients is just a match made in heaven and makes for the perfect complex banana-like old fashioned. I love it. I hope you will love it too. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Hmm. Sorry, I keep it this time. <laughs> Bye.